Sid the Science Kid is made possible by First Five California. One, two, three. Explore the world with me. First Five California is a proud sponsor of Sid the Science Kid. At Boeing, we believe the best way to prepare children for success is by nurturing their curiosity and enthusiasm for learning and letting the future of our children take flight. The Rose Hills Foundation, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundation, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Hooper time! I'm reporter Hooper D. Guinea Pig, here to find out how to take care of a parent. Today's interview is with my friend, Ellie. Hi. Ellie, what do you feed your parakeet? I feed them bird seed. Is there anything you don't like about taking care of your parakeet? I don't like cleaning his cage. And there you have it. Live from the schoolhouse, Hoop D. Guinea Pig reporting. Bye. There's lots more to discover right here on PBS Kids. <laughs> Boys and girls, Raider Roo here, celebrating UNCTV Kids Club member birthdays for today. I hope each of you has had a full day of fantastic fun and super surprises. Happy birthday! And don't forget, for more information on our UNCTV Kids Club, call the Kids Club hotline at 877-KIDS4TV or visit UNCTV on the web today. It's Cassie or Zach and Wheezy. Join Emmy, Max, and Enrique for an adventure in Dragonland. Where dragons can oh, sing. Now I love you. And flying is allowed. Let's get shaking! Dragon Tales on PBS Kids. Weekdays on Just for Kids. You're watching UNC TV's Just for Kids. Time for a nursery rhyme. Itsy Bitsy Hooper. Itsy Bitsy Hooper climbed up the water spout. Down came the uh oh, a word's missing. What weather word starts with an R? R rain. Down came the rain and washed poor Hooper out. Out came the oh no, a word's missing. Can you help? It's also a weather word, but it starts with an F. Out came the sun and dried out all the rain. So Itsy Bitsy Hooper climbed up the spout again. Great job. Coming up next, it's Super Y. Super Y is funded by a cooperative agreement of the U.S. Department of Education and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting's Ready to Learn grant. And by PBS viewers like you. Thank you.